Ever pondered why critical thinking is paramount in both science and religion? It's a question that nudges us to dig deeper and venture beyond the surface. Let's start with a simple definition. Critical thinking is the ability to analyze, interpret, and evaluate information objectively. It's about asking the right questions, scrutinizing evidence, and being open to different perspectives. Like a compass guiding us through the dense forest of information, it helps us discern fact from fiction, plausible from implausible. Now why is it so important? Imagine you're building a house. You wouldn't want to use faulty materials or flawed designs, would you? Similarly, when constructing our understanding of the world, we need reliable, credible information. Critical thinking is our tool for testing the integrity of this information, ensuring our knowledge is built on a solid foundation. But how does this apply to science and religion, two realms often perceived as being at odds with each other? Well, that's a common misconception. Science and religion aren't always in conflict. In fact, they can complement each other, providing different lenses through which to view the world. Science, with its rigorous methods and empirical evidence, offers us a systematic way to understand the physical universe. Religion, on the other hand, delves into the metaphysical, exploring questions of purpose, morality, and the divine. Both require critical thinking. In science, we scrutinize hypotheses, analyze data, and challenge theories. In religion, we interpret texts, question beliefs, and examine our spiritual experiences. However, it's also important to note that both science and religion can be used to manipulate and deceive. Without critical thinking, we can easily fall prey to such deceptions, accepting questionable scientific claims or religious doctrines without scrutiny. So, whether you're evaluating a scientific study or contemplating a religious text, remember to engage your critical thinking skills. Ask questions, seek evidence, be open to different views. Fundamentally, critical thinking forms the basis for understanding and interpreting information, whether it's a scientific theory or a religious doctrine. It's our gateway to understanding, a vital tool in our quest for truth. Have you ever wondered how a critical thinker and a devout believer digest information differently? In the grand theater of life, our perceptions are shaped by the role we adopt. Enter the critical thinker and the devout believer. Two characters, vastly different in their approach to understanding the world around them. First, let's take a look at the critical thinker. This is someone who is not easily swayed by the winds of popular opinion. They're the type who would rather weather the storm of uncertainty than anchor themselves to an idea without first examining it. Critical thinkers place a high value on logic, evidence, and questioning. They don't just accept information at face value, instead, they dissect it, analyze it, and weigh it against other evidence. In the realm of science and religion, critical thinkers are the ones who ask the tough questions. They challenge the status quo and are not afraid to venture into the unknown. They are the ones who recognize that both science and religion are complex systems of knowledge, each with its own strengths and limitations. On the other hand, we have the devout believer. This individual holds faith as their guiding light. Their understanding of the world is heavily influenced by their deeply held beliefs. Whether it's science or religion, they interpret information through the lens of these beliefs. Devout believers are not necessarily blind followers. However, their faith can sometimes overshadow the need for critical examination. In the face of evidence that contradicts their beliefs, devout believers may choose faith over facts. This is not to say that being a devout believer is wrong, it simply highlights the different ways in which we process information and make sense of our world. So whether you identify more as a critical thinker or a devout believer, remember this. The key to understanding lies not in accepting information without question, but in challenging it, probing it, and considering it from various angles. While faith plays a significant role in a devout believer's understanding, a critical thinker relies on logic, evidence, and questioning. Can institutions control science and religion and deceive devout believers in science? This question takes us into the realm of power and influence. Institutions, whether they are scientific, religious, or educational, wield significant power over the information we receive and how we interpret it. But, how exactly do they do this? Science and religion, two of the most influential institutions in our world, have a long history of shaping our beliefs and understanding. They provide us with frameworks to interpret the world around us. However, these frameworks can sometimes be manipulated to serve the interests of those in power. Let's consider science first. Scientific institutions like research labs and universities play a crucial role in the discovery and dissemination of knowledge. They are considered trustworthy sources of information 
because of their rigorous methods and peer review processes. However, these institutions are not immune to influence. Funding sources, political pressures, and personal biases can sometimes skew the direction of research or the interpretation of findings. Now let's talk about religion. Religious institutions have long been a source of moral and spiritual guidance for many, they provide a sense of community and belonging, and they offer answers to some of life's most profound questions. However, like scientific institutions, they too can be swayed by power and influence. Dogma can be manipulated, interpretations can be skewed, and followers can be led astray. So, what does this mean for the devout believer in science or religion? It means that they must be aware of the potential for manipulation and control. They must learn to question, to probe, and to think critically about the information they receive. Institutions hold great power in shaping our knowledge and beliefs, making critical thinking even more crucial. So, whether you're engaging with science or religion, remember to keep your critical thinking cap on. Because knowledge isn't just about believing, it's about understanding. Is there a middle ground between being a critical thinker and a devout believer? This is a question that has been asked for centuries and the answer might surprise you. Yes indeed there is a middle ground to be found, a balance to be struck. A place where faith and critical thinking can coexist harmoniously. Consider this. Critical thinking doesn't mean rejecting faith, and having faith doesn't mean abandoning critical thinking. Rather these two elements can complement each other in a beautiful dance of understanding. Faith can give us the courage to question, to seek answers, to strive for knowledge. On the other hand, critical thinking can provide a framework for understanding, a tool for discerning truth from falsehood. Religion and science, faith and reason these are not mutually exclusive concepts. They can, and often do, work together to provide a richer, deeper understanding of the world. It's like looking at a beautiful painting, you can appreciate the overall image, the emotions it evokes, the story it tells, that's faith. But you can also appreciate the individual brush strokes, the technique used, the choice of colors. That's critical thinking. Each perspective enhances the other, providing a fuller, more nuanced appreciation of the artwork. Think of it this way. Faith can provide the questions and critical thinking can help find the answers. Faith can inspire us to seek knowledge, to strive for understanding. And critical thinking can guide us in that quest, helping us discern truth from falsehood, reality from illusion. It's not about choosing one over the other, it's about finding a balance, a harmony between faith and critical thinking. It's about using both to gain a deeper, more comprehensive understanding of the world around us. So let's not pit faith against critical thinking, let's not see them as adversaries, but as allies, as partners in our quest for understanding, as tools to help us navigate the complexities of life. Balancing critical thinking with faith allows for a more comprehensive understanding of the world around us. Let's embrace both and see where they lead us. So, what have we learned about the importance of critical thinking in science and religion? Well, our journey has taken us through the landscapes of understanding, the dichotomy between critical thinkers and devout believers, the power of institutions, and the need for balance. We've navigated these terrains to highlight one crucial point, the importance of critical thinking in interpreting the world around us. We've seen how critical thinking serves as a gateway to understanding a tool that allows us to dissect the complexities of the world, be it in the realm of science or religion. It's the lens through which we can view and interpret information, allowing us to make informed decisions rather than blindly accepting what we're told. We've also explored the stark contrast between the critical thinker and the devout believer. The critical thinker, constantly questioning and seeking answers, versus the devout believer, who often accepts without questioning. We've seen how this dynamic plays out in both science and religion, shaping our perceptions and beliefs. Then we dove into the power of institutions. Whether religious or scientific, these entities wield a tremendous influence over what we believe to be true. They often control the narrative, shaping our understanding of the world. It's here that the importance of critical thinking truly shines, empowering us to question these narratives and seek our own truths. And finally, we've discussed the need for balance, a balance between faith and critical thinking, it's not about discarding one for the other, but rather, about harmonizing the two. Faith can inspire us, guide us, give us comfort, but critical thinking allows us to question, to understand, to interpret. It's this balance that leads to a more enriched and enlightened understanding of the world. Remember, being a critical thinker doesn't mean abandoning faith. It simply means questioning, understanding, and interpreting the world in a more enriched and enlightened manner. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.